highlight where is your team and what fields are you playing on and what matches are you playing in. We are getting ready to populate those uh, match lists right now. So we'll be able to give those out to coaches um, shortly. Back there is the practice field. And that is for you to come in and practice at any time. We just ask, there is nobody there to reset the field. So it's your job um, to either reset the field when you're done, or if you're going in to practice a certain skill, you can go over and reset it yourself and then practice. Over there is the skills field for the skills challenge, where you can have up to, I believe, three opportunities to, um, to I guess, rank your skills, to go over and practice your skills, score the highest, and then we'll have a ranking system that we'll keep throughout the league to see who has the best skills. <laughs> um, a couple of reminders. Oh, one last thing. Bathrooms. There are some student bathrooms right outside the doors here. Um, there's a sign on the door that says restrooms. There's a guys and a girls bathroom. There's also one bathroom down there that is a teacher's bathroom that people can use. And then up by the office, there are also bathrooms there. Um, just make sure you lock those doors when you go in. There are single bathrooms. Make sure you lock the doors. Uh, the Robo Lions will be having snacks for sale today. Because we're here not so late today, um, there's not a break for lunch. So you can purchase snacks. We have hot dogs, chips, candy, soda, water, all kinds of things for you. Um, so just they'll be up in the hallway where you were coming out of the cafeteria. A um, couple reminders. You need to know your team number. If you do not know your team number, I recommend that you go back, you ask your coach, and you maybe get a Sharpie, and you write your team number on your hand so that you don't forget, because we are not going to refer to you as the Blossom Bots or the Robo Lion. We're going to refer to you as Team 8327 or Team 7752. So you need to know your number. Um, we also know that a lot of you don't have your license plates yet so on your robots. So um, we are asking that you, when you do go over for inspection, that you try to either put like a sticker on the side with your team number or to use your colored lit license plates that you have. You will find that some games you will be on the red alliance and some games you'll be on the blue alliance. And so if you have license plates, you need to look ahead and say, oh, my next match, I'm blue. So you need to put your two blue um, license plates on. If you don't have license plates yet, that's okay. We have flags for you, and they're at the queuing station right there. If you could hold that up for me, Dominique or Kyrie, somebody like that. So when you go over to queue up, they will give you a flag that you can plop in, whether you're red or blue. You will, however, need to attach a little piece onto your robot, a little flag stand. If you need assistance with that, you can perhaps ask like one of the queuers, one of the refs, um, somebody around, one of the coaches like me. We can help you with, it's just a little silver piece, the connector piece that you screw onto your robot. And it's just a little flag stand. Um, what else? Uh, another thing, when it's your time, we know that some of you are still working on your robots and they may not fully work at this time. But when it's your time for a match, you need to report to the field for a match. You do not want to not report because then you are marked as a no-show, which is not good. Okay? So you don't need to bring your robot. So let's say my robot doesn't work. I'm just going to come up. I'm going to queue up, and I'm going to say I'm here. My robot's not working, but I'm here to represent. When it's time to play and I'm red, I come over. I don't have a robot. I'm going to stand here with my safety goggles on, and I can just support the other person who's red, and I can help them and say, go get that one, and go do this, go do that. You can be a coach. But you always want to report to the field whether your robot works or not. And you don't need to bring the broken robot, because we actually won't let you play with a broken robot. Um, charge your batteries. If you haven't already started, charge your batteries for your remotes. Charge batteries for your robots. Um, always make sure you bring safety glasses with you. If you don't have safety glasses yet, we do have safety glasses um, under the QA station. And we'll loan you a pair um, for the day. You just need to put those back in there when you're done. And the last uh, couple other things. When you come to play, you cannot use your orange cord. Who knows the orange cord I'm talking about? To connect your rope. Yeah, you can't use that when you play actually on the field. You need to have your keys, the two white ones or the two black ones. You can't use them like one black, one white. That's not going to work. So you need to come in, put your robot in, and make sure that you have your keys. You also will then need to come up and hook up your remote control, and you're going to plug this into the competition port. It only fits in one port on your remote. You're going to plug this in. You and the other, your partner are going to stand. These two will be red. We're going to plug in, and we're going to stand here to drive. You, I'm going to guess probably you're going to have somebody else with you to coach, and that other person that's here is the one who might give you assistance. If you are lucky enough to have one of these that you can place there, then it's your teammate's job to go like this and place that in for you.
okay? So, and let me see if I have anything else I want to remind you of before we get started. That's it. Most importantly today, learn something new or five, ten things new and have fun. Okay, talk to each other. This is the community we're going to be together throughout the winter and the spring. So just make sure you have a good time. And um, I'm going to introduce you to a few people and then we're going to, I think, I'll give you some time for questions. Our head ref is Margaret Strong, right here. And our other ref, yes, give her a round of applause. She and the other ref, the volunteers, pretty much spend most Saturdays in the fall and winter at, uh, at Vex tournaments, uh, just volunteering and helping out. Um, we also have Mr. Glenn Spikes, who's over there. And Davis. And wave your hand. And Michael Chapman, who's not sweatshirt on right now, but he'll have his ref shirt on shortly. Those are going to be your refs for today. If you have an issue in a match and perhaps you think that you have been scored incorrectly or you want to ask a question about the score, ask your refs. Okay, those are the people. As soon as your match is over, if you say, you know, was that legal or was that not legal? You need to ask them right away. If you then leave and like 20 minutes later you have a question, you can't, you don't, we don't want you to come back here to the people who are entering scores and things and ask them questions or argue with them. You want to talk with your reps, okay? Um, the, back here you'll see people who will be starting and stopping matches and entering scores. And again, students and drivers, coaches, you want to keep your questions for the reps and the other volunteers that are around. These people um, will be back here working. We don't direct our questions there. You have people who will be queuing, and this will be the queuing area. Who doesn't know what queuing is when I say that? Thank you for raising your hand. Queuing basically means coming up to be ready for a match. So you're gonna bring your robot in. Let's say match number one is about to start. If I am in match one, I walk up with my robot and my safety goggles, my remote, and my keys, and I come over and I say, I'm here for match one, I'm team 75. The tours that will be here, there will be adults here helping you. And you let them know that you're here, you put your robot down, you have your flag or your colored license plates, and they will just check you off to make sure you're ready. And when match one is ready to load onto the field, they will direct you onto the field. Miss Julia is gonna call you on, she's around here somewhere. She's gonna direct you on. You're gonna, you need to know whether you're red or blue. You're gonna come over, place your robot on your spot. Here's your preload. You know, you get to load one of these onto your robot at the start of the match. And then plug in and be ready to get, begin. At the same time, as soon as they walk away, match two people should be queuing up. Always know, match schedules are printing right now, always know what matches you're playing in and watch the screens to know when it's your time to come up, okay? Um, I don't think, let's see, are there any questions? Questions about rules, questions about anything? Yes, sir. Um, so why are you playing in the matches? Um, besides having a ball, couldn't you push the block to a third place? While you're playing in a match, if you don't have a claw, can you still push the boxes? Absolutely. So, um, maybe I might ask Ms. Margaret if you wouldn't mind going over scoring really fast with them. But yes, if you don't have a claw or your claw's not working, you push those squares around, okay? Good morning, everyone. So just to go over some of the quick scoring, so if you have a cube that is at least touching the color tile and your robot is not touching it, that's worth one point. So that would be worth one point if it's just on the sky rise base. If you put a section in it, that cube is now four points, and a sky ride section is four points. If you score on a post, that's two points. And that counts as being scored as well, as long as some part of the post is in the cube. If it is the tallest cube on the post, you get an additional point for owning the post. And one thing to be careful of when you're on the field, if you're a blue robot, you cannot touch the two red tiles and this gray tile in between. That's a protected area. So you're not supposed to interfere with the other teams building the sky rise. So if you're a red robot, you can't touch the blue tiles and the gray square in between. If you, at the end of autonomous, the alliance that has the most points scored will get a 10 point bonus. 
questions about scoring or the rule? Any other questions? Say I do. Is there a point penalty for anything that would change on? That can be it's either a warning or a disqualification if you actually cross over into the zone. When can we work on autonomous? When can we work on things? And now I was actually going to talk, say one more thing about that. Anytime you're not playing, you should be in the pits working on your robot, improving your autonomous, improving things. Go talk to other teams. I also want to point out Mr. Josh Gabriels, and if you've ever done robotics before, you see Mr. Josh. He is um, going to be working at the help desk with a few other people. And if you need help with your robot, you can either go to the help desk and find him or some of his partners, or he might be wandering around in the pit area. And so we want you to try to improve on your robot today um, and get it running. Get it running and score those points. But again, remember to just have fun. Any last questions from any of you? Yeah, and don't forget that you have the practice field. So if you want to come down and test out your autonomous or test out your ability to pick something up with your claw, just come down to the practice field and you can use that. I am going to ask, though, the teams that are not playing, you either need to be back in the pits at the practice field um, or observing or watching, okay? We're going to ask that all spectators stay behind the stanchions and we're not cutting through. I've opened these up right now, but I'm about to close them up. So if you want to observe, you need to walk up and around and come into that back door on the stage. If you, the only people really to be down here are people that are playing, practicing, and that will be students and coaches. All right? And don't forget to take lots of pictures today for yourself, and uh, you can take pictures of robot ideas. All right. Okay, I'm going to announce the first two matches. All right? No, 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 no. Never mind, these are not going to Okay. Hold tight for one more minute. Seventy-one sixty-eight red, eighty-nine forty-four red, 
159A blue. 2161A blue. On engineering, I need 8617 red. 2161C red. 7651 blue. 8557 blue. Okay, queuing. I need 8094 red, 75 red, 1748 F blue, 9075 C blue, 9271 red, 8094 B red, 8612 blue, and 6298 A blue. Ladies and gentlemen, please go back out these doors or the back doors. Go back to the